Yeah, look, Berlanga can win. And how can he win? Well, basically, you have to take into consideration where Canelo is in his career, right? He can't be Superman forever, meaning that, not that he can't lose on points, but meaning his chin. So we have to look at this scientifically. But before we do that, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Please consider subscribing and liking this. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you for returning back to the video. But now let's talk about it again. What am I talking about? Well, listen, man. Basically, Canelo, I believe, is 34 years old, right? 34, 35, around there. Um, Berlanga is 26, 27. What does that mean? The primary of a fighter usually enters around 25, 26, roughly, and ends about 32, 31. Of course, you got genetics involved in there. Um, talent, man, meaning how much punishment you have evaded and how much punishment you have uh, given back, you know, or not sustained, basically. But something other, also funny happens, right? So um, your brain, let's see, okay, so like you ever see a kid fall down and they bang their head and they don't get knocked out, they just kind of get a huge knot and then it's like, okay, you see if they get a concussion or something like that. And then the doctor kind of goes, well, you know, they're, they're kind of fine and nothing's happening. Well, I was explained by a doctor one time, well, basically it's because a kid's brain and their head is kind of tight, right? So the brain is actually encompassing all that is inside the skull. All that space is taken up by the brain. So therefore, when they hit, the brain doesn't move around, right? That's, a, that's like an adaptive feature. But as you get older, your brain shrinks. Hit, therefore, you have more space around it. So when you get hit, your brain kind of bounces around and gets hit against the wall of the skull and the short circuits. So as the older you get, the the, the, you know, the, the smaller your brain gets. What does that mean for Canelo? Well, he's getting a small brain, right? Pause. So basically, if, if, if he gets hit the right way, his brain can move now probably more so than it used to 10 years ago, two years ago, a year ago. What does that mean for Berlanga? Well, Berlanga's brain, if, he's, if, he's, if he wasn't born with like this, like a stupid brain, like a small brain <laughs> or whatever, it, it has more uh, uh, capacity to stay in place, right? It encompasses more of his, of his uh, cranial cavity. That doesn't sound right. Um, but then what ends up happening is, um, you know, when he gets hit, it, it, it might not rattle as much, right? He might get buzzed, but it might not rattle as much to get, to get knocked out. So we know that Berlanga can bang. He can, he can hit. He can both hands. He's not a greatest technical fighter you've ever seen, but he can hit, right? So his only chance is to somehow hit Canelo in a way that makes his brain rattle and hit the side of his skull. Being that Canelo's older, this is bound to happen at some point. Are we at that point? That's what I'm saying. Are we at the point? Because Canelo's prime, he's still in it, but he's on the other side of his prime, right? So he's on the way down, but not on the way up. So, so is his body, right? He's going to get slower. He's going to get bigger, right? Because his metabolism is going to stop. It's going to stop producing testosterone. So eventually, all these things are going to slow down. And eventually, he's going to get knocked out if he keeps fighting long enough. Can Berlanga land that shot, right? So if you see in the videos recently, I mean, all boxers do this at every stage, but but Canelo more so, he's working out the neck a lot. He's trying to keep that, that chin stable, right? So when Berlanga shoots that right or left, he doesn't, you know, move much, therefore keeping the brain as steady as possible. It sounds crazy, but that's, that's scientific for you, right? But Berlanga's key to victory is basically he has to pitch a shutout. He has to somehow learn how to box like Bivol and stay on the outside, but when he shoots the right or the left, he has to commit all the way through. So he has to go through. He can't pull back. He can't just, you know, not commit. He has to commit with the punch at all times because that's the way he's going to knock out Canelo. The problem is if he misses and Canelo still got good reflexes and catches him on the counter, it might be night lights out for, you know, Berlanga because guess who can also punch? Canelo. Can Berlanga win is the question. Yes, he can. How does he do it? Well, again... He somehow has to figure out how to stay on the outside, how to work the angles, how to work the jab, moving around Canelo, making Canelo reset. And every time he sees that opening when he throws a left, or, the left hook or the right, straight right hand, he has to commit to it. He cannot throw it without bad intentions. Cause, and, it's two, and it's a two-part problem. Because if he throws it with his full force and he misses, he could get countered and knocked out. If he throws it as just a non-committed punch, he could get knocked out. He's almost in a no-win situation, but if he times it and if it, the, the stars align and he cracks it and science is on his side that night, whereas Canelo's brain has shrunk enough to actually rattle, he can have a victory. He's not wrong when people say, when he says that people are against him, that they, they don't think he can win. I don't think he can win, personally. 
But can he win is the question. And yes, he can. Is the possibility that he wins the question? He, he loses the fight, but the percentages are never zero. It will never be zero. So he has to concentrate on that one or two or five percent, whatever it might be, and focus on that. And I think he he can he has a chance to upset the world and turn the boxing world upside down. Canelo, I think, is still too much in his prime. I don't think his brain is that shrunk yet. And I think he gets by. I think he knocks him out in nine. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think Belaranga can knock him out? Do you think it, what I'm saying might be into play? The age is a factor. Or do you think, hey, listen, man, he's going to catch him before nine rounds. And Belaranga will be night-night. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.